Future Tim here. I'm editing together this video that you're about to see. And this represents two and a half hours of work that I've done for one video, which is one of the longest videos I've ever worked on. I just wanted to get to the end of the puzzle before the end of the video. This took forever. And I went down so many rabbit trails, and I made such a mess of things. So I hope that you enjoy it. I'm editing it together in such a way where you'll see the chaos, but hopefully not lose your cool. <laughs> you probably will. Uh, bear with me. Don't be afraid to fast forward a little bit if you need to. Uh, and hang on tight, okay? Because this one was a stupid episode. A stupid episode. Enjoy. Stupid episode. Hey there, minions of technology. My name is Tim Lee. Welcome to Legacy Studio, another episode of Mist for Revelation. Thank you so very much for joining me in another episode. Hey, it's your fault that I'm doing this. You guys seem to like them, so we're going to keep going. Hey, let's say a big thank you to ben, my legacy historian, Sean Hammond, Tony Allen, and William Ponath. These guys are incredible, supporting at the highest tier. I would love it if you consider joining yourself and supporting the cause. Humongous thanks to my Dorka historians and my early access historians. All these amazing people just truly constantly supporting the cause of clean gaming here on YouTube. And uh, you know what? It gets them early access to all my videos. And recently I've been trying to bust out a couple extra ones. So, hey, hopefully we're giving them what they deserve, which is a whole lot more action that they can appreciate and do some binge watching of maybe some of their favorite games. All right, let's get into this. Before we do, uh, I want to go ahead and figure out which one of these, which one was it? There it is right there. I want to start first and foremost by reading through a couple comments. Now, um, you guys leave comments, and I really appreciate them, especially uh, when you make sure that there's no spoilers, but the, it's kind of funny how you covered some of these here. And I always come back to Sean Hammond. He does a fantastic job with his comments and left a few since our last video. So... Let's start with this one here from episode 17. It says, awesome job figuring out the hammers puzzle. I've always thought that one really makes no math, uh, mechanical sense. Why can you only slide the hammers when they are sitting on top of a button sheath? Um, and it's really hard to see the tracks to, to, to dictate how far each sheath can slide. You're dangerously close to figuring out the final co final combination. There's a bit of information you're missing, but I'll wait until the next episode to post any hints. And I think I've released two new episodes since that, so we'll see what he says in continuation on episode 18. It's great to see these episodes coming again. No shame in having to look up the solution for that one. Uh, there's only one screen where you can even hear the call. The game does basically nothing to draw your attention to it, and the wheels uh, are super finicky to get it to register uh, and register the combination correctly. Probably one of the worst puzzles in the game in terms of player interaction. May not quite... Um, Maybe not quite the actual worst, but is it is close. Now, I don't know how this guy knows how to do this, but check this out. A um, couple of minor no-spoiler hints below, though you probably... I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> though you probably don't need them yet if, you, uh, if you, you're doing great. Thank you very much. Hint number three is a bit of a spoiler in case you get stuck in the next puzzle, so I dropped it down lower. Look at how he marked it out. I didn't even know you could do that. And he says you got that in the next episode. So, wonderful. Both Haven and Spire can each be completed from start to finish without having to leave. See? Serena can only be completed after you have finished both of the other two. You still have a bit left to finish in Spire. I would have sworn you finished it, but looking back through your videos, I guess I was mistaken. Uh... Let's see, there's something else in the hut you just visited. So, so far, so good on that. Now let me scroll up here. Emily Rose Lacey Nichols says, uh, Well done in the gate puzzle. That sliding panel really shouldn't have been uh, so hard to open. Uh, no spoilers, just broad advice followed by slightly more specific hints. As for your current predic uh, predicament, this age sounds uh, uses sounds a lot, like in Riven, but not just for identifying animals, paying attention to the environment and how things interact. Might uh, you turn some of those interactions into your advantage somehow? Can you uh, pre uh, replicate or prompt a useful behavior in order to gain access to hidden information? There's something you can do... Uh, 
in the hunting blind. I don't know raised platform where the monkey totem is visible playing around with anything you can interact with. So pretty sure we've answered that question already uh, in our previous game. So, so far, so good. Now we're trying to solve some other puzzles, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So let's get the game booted up and play a little bit more of this game. Easily one of the most challenging games that I have played thus far when it comes to the Myst series. Not my favorite, but still... Interesting storyline, and we're getting closer to figuring out who these brothers are and why they act the way they do. So let's get into the game here. We've got a lot to do. Oh, dear. I admit I don't look forward to this wonderful little puzzle. <laughs> so I find it very interesting so far that we've been able to get this guy into this little pit right here, but what to do next? I don't know. Um, I kept thinking if we get him into the pit and then we th have the monkey throw something at him, that would take care of things. Now, let me quickly see here if I can recall how to throw. In my notes, it says long, high, low, short, medium, short. So long, high, long, high, low, short, medium, short. And I keep looking where he throws, and it looks like it lands about right here. So if that guy somehow comes over here, that would be great. Now, he's got his attention focused right now over on that side. We don't know who's in there right now. Let's just make a guess and say medium short, low short for starters. Medium short, low short. Let's see if anyone pops out here. Oh, excuse me. Reverse. Medium short, low short. All right. Who is our friend here? That would be the one with the ears the square crossed. And actually... That's, according to my notes, still in the same way. And he's the one who's staying there. He's not going to move. Let's see where our other friends are. Uh, let's look at where L is. Uh, low, short, long, high. So, low, short, long, high. All right, he's right where we were expecting him to be. So, low, sh low short, long, high. We've seen him there before. And finally, we are missing uh, the guy with the ear straight up. He seems like the oldest of the bunch. Low, long, medium, long. So low, long, medium, long. There he is. Now he's going to move, and we can see that that moves our little friend here. Now we can move on to moving around one of these other guys. Now what I never noticed here is that there is actually a rope right here. They don't show that well. Uh, you can kind of see it right here, but barely. So I thought that that was going to play a role on where this guy was supposed to go next, but it doesn't seem to be the case. So I think we'll go ahead and move our L now, which is low, short, long, high. Low, short, long, high. So he moved exactly where I thought he would move. And now we can, uh, since it seems like he can only move one at a time and he can only move them once. He can't move him again. He won't go back. He won't go forward. Then the only option that we have since we've moved two out of the three would be medium short, low short, or the guy with the ears both down. So medium short and low short. And now he will move over to here. And this also lines up our little guy to then make his way across to fall into the pit, which is great, but then we don't actually get a result here. Long, high, low, short, medium, short. So long, high, low, short, medium, short. Nothing. Let's try it again just in case. Long, high, low, short, medium, short. Long, high, low, short, medium, short. There he is. And you see nothing happens there. So I'm wondering if it's a timing issue or something like that. But I think last time I tried it, he climbed out or fell. No, not even. So let's go ahead now and give this a shot. We're going to go ahead and move. Um, I think it's low, short, long, high, or something. This is the open one. As soon as we move him over here, this guy's going to fall into the pit. I'm going to try throwing it one more time. Am I going to do that, or am I going to follow William Poneth's point that I shouldn't do the same thing over? Hmm. That's an interesting thought. Huh. 
Low, short, long, high. Low, long, medium, long. Low, long, medium, long. Okay, there we go. And he's stuck. And he's not getting out. Now, I guess my question is what to do next. Can I... Let's go ahead and go medium, short, low, short, just for giggles. Medium, short, low, short. Nothing happened. Medium, short, low, short. Ah, I see. And, and it's either there's a time limit or... No, now he appears. And that was no time limit. That's very weird. Why would that matter? Hmm. Because now we're kind of back to square one. We have to move everything back around again. Okay. Low, short. Long, high. Okay. He'll move over there. Now we're going to move... Um, is it medium, short, low, short? Medium, short, low, short. Yep, okay. I do not like how this controls. I would prefer to this to stay exactly as it is and not move around and bump around, but... No, that's not how this is going to work. Alright, so now we can go with low, long, medium, long. Low, long. Medium long. Huh? Low long. Medium long. There he goes. We got him lined up now. And now we can go ahead and do. Low short long high, I think. Low short. Long high. And as he's running, let's also go ahead and get right on this. Let's go ahead and go uh, uh, long, high, long, high, low, short, medium, short, low, short, medium, short. Come on. Long, high, low, short, medium, short. T hit him. Hit him. See, now why didn't that work? Why didn't that work? Did that work better than it did before? Ugh, I hate this system. I wish it would be something that you could control with, you know, like your keyboard. Instead of having to do this, why can't you control it with like A, B, and C on your keyboard or something? That would just make more sense. Ah, uh, Gar. What is the point, then... What's the point? That's what I say all the time. What is the point? And how do we change the variables? Because we can only move certain monkeys. It only allows us to move certain ones. Between these four shells. This one stays the same. That monkey, his job is simply to throw stuff. And honestly, we have not seen him become useful in the slightest. So, that must mean that this is more important to me than I want it to be. Why is this important? And why are the needles important in this design? You always gotta wonder if these little ink blots mean anything or not. I also wonder if stuff like this means anything. If, like, you're supposed to swap a piece of paper, like, what is this? Is this here for a cause? Um... There's nothing else in addition to this. You can't grab the paper and move it or anything. That's staying as it is. Let's figure out where low, long, medium, long is. Low, long. I think that uh, there might be a missing variable here. Ah, messed up. I have him in the wrong one. I He should be over here. Huh? What? Why won't that open up? Something's wrong with my math here. Where's, where's, oh man, I'm making a mess of my notes. 
think I'm going to draw it out one more time because my notes are looking really, really bad here. <laughs> uh, so let me, let me, let me scratch this out here really quickly. So, lots of notes. Lots of notes. And we're kind of set to square one. So now I can start looking at what movements do what to this guy and then figure out what variable I need to change. No. One, two, three, four. Can't move old to four. They're canceling that out. So it seems like he can only move in one direction. So the second option that we have, everything seems to rotate counterclockwise. The only option we have is to move whoever's in here over here. Right now, I can't tell who that is at the moment. So let's go ahead and try low, short, long, high. Low, short. Low, short, long, high. And we have it. Low, short, long, high. Low, short, long, high. So, low, short, long, high. There's no good way to to even begin this. My question is, is there a way to reverse it where we can send him back through the opposite direction? Hmm. Low, short, long, high. Now he'll move over here, and that gets our guy stuck. Now, can I make an immediate move? Like, instead of that, let's go with, um, 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 low, long, medium, long. Low, long, medium, long. Do something. Now can I do something? It wouldn't let me do that during, during the move. So what was that final move? That final move was L. If we have five to four, five to four, four to three, three to two, and two all the way back to five, where he gets stuck, how does he go around? What is this around track that we've missed over here? There's no way to move that monkey unless we've missed a, a call somewhere. Are we supposed to figure out the missing monkey? Would we be able to figure out what the call is for that monkey if we knew? Could we guess it? If we could guess it and change where that monkey is positioned, that would also change the position of our friend down there. So we've assumed that you can't change the position of the throwing monkey because he doesn't have a call. But if we can guess that call, then we have it. Let's see if we can work with that. That's an interesting theory. I have those from time to time. I have those all the time. What am I saying? Ha ha ha. Okay, so let's start with this guy. So L, and we're going to use this whole three box system since that's what they're using. That way we don't confuse ourselves. I'm kind of thinking like a Sudoku kind of situation here. So short, long, thinking that there's going to be like one left over somehow. That's my guess. Next one, that's the throwing one. I'm not worried about that one yet. This one, short, short, okay. And now, I need the old guy. So, with his ears up, this guy has so maybe the idea is that he hadn't gotten all the research done yet. Long, long. I feel like there's another variable that we haven't seen yet. Uh, hmm. Isn't there like a flag system? 
in a way that you hold the flags and it's supposed to have meaning. I doubt that that would be the, the math that we're supposed to utilize. So let's just do this. Let's combine all of these boxes into one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What if... Does it show the monkey's ears? It shows them back. So what if we do another one here? We'll call it rock. What if the throwing command for any of them, the missing variable could be, yeah, the missing variable could be, let's try this, low, short, medium, short. Nothing. What? That doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does, because low, short, medium, short, and then low, short. That would be medium, short, low, short. What if it's high? No. And it's definitely not low, short, medium, short. <laughs> See, that one's medium, short, low, short. Which is that one. But the roll reversal... I feel like I'm really close to something. Like I'm really, really, really close to something. I think I've overthought this. I think I'm overthinking this. See, my thinking is why... that one monkey has a low call, one monkey has a medium call, but there are any monkeys that have a high call. Second call is a low call. The other one is a short and a medium. So the only thing missing is a high call and then possibly a low call? But we don't know what even if it's real. So there's no answer. <laughs> yes. Fair enough. So I can go back the way I came that way. My level of desperation is quite minimal on that. If I leave it down, could the Karnaks come in here and cause trouble? My hope is yes. I hope I'm doing the right thing and just leave. Never mind. Well, this is a chunk of lard. Been playing for an hour and two minutes with no success. And I'm very, very fearful that it's down to getting that one monkey to talk, to, to, to move. Because there's a rope where he could cross in to the other side. There's multiple ways you could go, quite honestly. Alright, I'm going to work on this for a few more minutes. If I do not find an answer, then we're going to the hints, hints system. We're going to the web. But I'm going to put a little bit more time in this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think about this for Maybe 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes. I will I will dedicate 10 minutes of time to try and solve this puzzle. Okay? 10 minutes, which is quite a bit in my opinion. 
set a timer for 10 minutes. All right, the hunt is on. Let me see if I can figure anything else out. Because it seems like no matter what, I can't change the moves of the monkeys, period. So, for instance, if we do low, short, long, high, that will be the first move. Low, short, uh, long, high. So, oh. What? Uh, what? What? That's a different variable. What? What? So, ears... So, L can also move... L can also move to the throwing area. Can anyone else move into that throwing area? Can... can big ears? Low, long, medium, long? That's a no, he's not even in the right place to do it. So who's sitting in number four right now? What would happen if I tried to throw something? Nothing would happen, right? Long, high, low, short, medium, short. Long, high, low, short, medium, short. Nothing, because no one's here to throw. Still, that changes the variable. Where I must have gotten it wrong in the first place, but that would mean that between those five shells... One, two, three, four, five... We have three monkeys that we're dealing with. Right? So what if those monkeys has a better throwing arm and I need to get one of those monkeys over into here? This changes the variable, so I... My 10 minute timer, I, I might turn that off. Because it's a different situation altogether now. I've added a monkey where I shouldn't have. Oh, wait a minute. How many monkeys did we see at the start of this? Hang on, we need, to, we need to get out of here and come back. We need to get out of here and come back because it showed all the monkeys at one given time. So let's get out of here completely. Yes, one, two. Oh, there are four monkeys. Rat. Now, the throwing monkey, we actually do have control of, though. Because we moved him from here to here. Or was that the changed variable? We did it by doing a low, short, long, high. Low, short, long, high. Okay. Which shell haven't we moved? What shell haven't we moved? There's a there's a uh, there's a spare monkey hiding in one of these, in all four of these technically, and that's big ears. So that means I don't care. We just used up ten minutes. I don't care. 
that means the only option is that there's a monkey right now in four that we have not placed. The next option that we have is to try and move a monkey over into that. The choice would be the monkey that we don't know how to call. I literally can't do anything now, but at the same time I've set myself up for success if I can figure out how to move the monkey from five to, to one. Because there's, there's a monkey in here. If I can move that monkey from five to one, I have the answer. Ish. I at least have the answer for what that monkey, who that monkey is. Which I've already done all this before. Literally. I'm repeating myself. <laughs> so the unknown variable is still right here. Golly. Oh, man. What am I supposed to do with this information? And why can I suddenly move it and not solve this situation? What changed? Because now I can't move any of them. All right, I've been at this for an hour and 39 minutes. Nearly two episodes worth trying to solve this because I feel like I was really close. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Not done with the game, but I'm done trying to find the answer. I have struggled for far too long. It's time to go to the hints. So, unfortunately, this is happening. And I, I hate that I'm doing this, but uh, this is this is definitely happening. They don't want a video. You need white beard to throw. Hate to be bit convoluted here goes it's been a while since I played it but my notes this setup and routine I use move the mangs in this order number the huts five huts A to E from right to left there are four mangs involved in the puzzle white beard designated WB two ears down 2ED, 1 ear down, 1ED, 2 ears up, 2EU, and WB begins the nest in nest B. UED sits in the nest E, 2EU sits in the nest D, and 2ET sits in nest C. I've been using a guide for this final puzzle. I just so happen to not be fast enough once the lizard is in the pit. I can move them around just fine before getting the thing into the pit just as soon as it does. I can't get the white beard into the throwing station fast enough, which is why I need to, a, a way to skip the puzzle. I've had to reset five times now and I still am not fast enough, plus walking back and forth between the hut and puzzle just to reset it is annoying. And I already knew the order, that's not the problem. The problem is the game is such a stickler. Just in case you weren't aware, when using the throw call any mang in the throwing hut will pop out and throw a berry toward the center of the area as long as Shecky isn't below his hut. However, only one mangree, Whitebeard, throws well. Lovely. Alright, that's all I'm going to go off of for now. I'm not even going to notate the hints or anything. I don't want to go past that point. It would seem that I am missing some notes on one of the monkeys. That must be it. I must be missing some notes on one of the monkeys somewhere because I only have three. The fourth is the rock thrower. I need to reset, apparently. 
So I've gotten lucky multiple times here. And now I've hit a dead end, which is actually literally a dead end. But why is it a dead end? Have I gotten so far that now I'm hurting myself? On what monkey is what? So somehow, I need to get the white monkey over. If I don't do that, then I'm at a loss. And so far, the only hint I have, I'm solving a puzzle without all the information. I'm solving the puzzle without all the information. Long, high, medium, short equals monkey unmarked. Long, high, medium, short. Long, high. That doesn't make sense. Did... Long, high, medium, short? Medium, short. How long ago did I make that note? How long? <laughs> How long ago did I make that note? What the? Long, high, medium, short. Oh no! <laughs> I've done this for so many times. I've gotten lost. How long have I had that? Oh no! <laughs> Okay, so, oh, how long have I had that? Where did I even find that? I don't even remember writing that. Uh, long, high, medium, short, really? Okay, um, hang on then. Oh, that's frustrating. That is very frustrating. How long have I had that? So you got this one, which is low, short, long, high. This is gonna stink to edit. Medium, medium, short, low, short. Uh, the big ears, or two up, is low, long, medium, long, and unmarked is long, high, medium, short. I don't understand where that one came from. I don't understand where that one came from. That's all four monkeys now. Long, high, medium, short. Let's try something. Long, high, medium, short. He's hiding. Does he hide every time? Anyway, let's move on. Let's do low, short, long, high. Low, short, long, high. He'll move. Oh, that just breaks my heart. <laughs> um, oh, wow, he already fell in the pit in two moves? But we still have to get white over to it. And we're nowhere even close to getting white in over there. He's going to crawl out. How would you get white over there? Um, okay. So white is over here, I think, which is low, long, medium, long. Low, long, medium, long. Low, long, medium, long. Okay. There he is. So I need to get him over here somehow, which I feel like I've done in the past. I have. I've gotten him over to five. So let's go ahead and move through this again. Because we're kind of starting from scratch with that one. So the only choice I have is the unmarked, long, high, medium, short.
Okay, he's going back. So... What if I do... Low, long, medium, long now? Low, long, medium, long. Okay, good. So he's where he needs to be now. Now we need to move all these guys over. So let's go with... Medium, short, low, short. Medium, short, low, short. Yep. And then you need to go low, short, long, high? No. We need to move long, high, medium, short. Let's try long, high, medium, short. Long, high, medium, short. He can't go anywhere. Okay. So we have a pest <laughs> that's not moving for us, uh, which is what? I guess it would be low, short, long, high? Low, short, long, high? There you go. So he's moving now. Now we can move unmarked with long, high, medium, short, long, high, medium, short. Good. And now we can move whitey into place with low, long, medium, long. Low, long, medium, long. Good. Now technically he's where he needs to be. Now let's try throwing really quick with long, high, low, short, medium, short. Long, high, low, short, medium, short. He's not going to throw for us. Because he is underneath, which is going to spook him. So what if I was to try and move everyone but him now? Like low, short, long, high. Low, short, long, high. Not who I was thinking of. So let's try medium, short, low, short. Medium, short, low, short. Good. Now let's try and see if he can throw. Long, high, me uh, which is uh, long, high, low, short, medium, short. Long, high, low, short, medium, short. Oh, yeah, he can definitely pelt it. That's what we're looking for. Now, to get that guy to move across, we need to move everyone but him. Medium, short, low, short. Medium, short, low, short. Nope, that's not it. So, how about unmarked? Long, high, medium, short. Long, high medium short no okay so then low short long high low short long high there we go okay all right now we need to move medium short low short medium short Low, short. Unmarked? Must be unmarked. Unmarked, long, high, medium, short. Long, high, medium, short. There you go. But he's not in the right place. How do we get him to come over here and then run across? Low, short, long, high. Low, short. Low, short. Long, high. So we've changed our platform, but it'll make more sense with what I'm doing here. With Whitey here. 
and leaving him alone. Because I want him to be able to throw when he can throw. I need to be able to move these monkeys away from I need to be able to move these monkeys away from How would you keep them from not continuing to go in circles? You would have to rotate through them one at a time. So my idea to keep Whitey there and then rotate the other ones, is it impossible? No. If I rotate between two, three, four, and five, we're good. So I need to move the monkey here over, but he chases a certain monkey. That's the problem I have. So let's see what happens now. If this one right now is open, he sits on three. Let's see what happens now. So we need to move five. Low, short, long, high. Low, short, long, high. Sits in two. Well, sits in four, actually. So low, short, long, high. Sits in four. Medium, short, low, short. Medium, short. Oops, low, short. Medium, short, low, short. There he goes. Now, we can't go back, can we? Medium, short, low, short? No, see, that's the problem. Medium, short, low, short. Medium, short, low, short. Moves over to two. Medium, short, low, short, which then puts the monster at two. So then if we move, oh, I see. If I move, number four, which is low, short, long, high, low, short, low, short, long, high, low, short, long, high. Oh gosh, there he goes. There he goes. I didn't realize. Where's the throw? Throwing is long, high, low, short, medium, short. Here we go. Peg him. Oh, we got it. Oh, we got it. Oh, we finally got it. After two hours and six minutes. Oh. Two hours and six minutes. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh. On one puzzle. That was terrible. That was terrible. That was so bad. It's a gift, Akana. I made it for you. Oh, you're, you're not you seeing any of this. No. No. I mean, yes. 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 I like it. It's just... It's so soft. Almost forgot what soft feels like. I'm so sorry for jumping ahead. I've, I've, I didn't mean to do that. To enlighten you, I followed a one of these cute little munchins or whatever you call them up here into this nest and found this laying up here. 
Oh. Oh. Hello. Look at what we found. Let's take a picture of it. That is definitely going to be needed for Serena. Okay. All right. So that is the answer that we need for Serena. Or, or I guess it's Serena. Is this it? All there is to see here? I mean, admittedly, it's a good reward. We've, we've learned a lot here. These guys are just cute. Uh, I did find this as well, and I took a picture of it. So, multiple pictures, admittedly. I checked on the, to see if there was anything on the back. It won't let me look on the back of it. These guys are adorable, and they're just hanging out. So, I guess I'm done here. I can't even begin to express how frustrating that last puzzle was. And even with the hints that I went and I got, I, it, I didn't even realize that I had kind of hurt myself in the process. Because apparently somewhere along the way, I found the unmarked monkey and what code it was to use him, and I never actually used him. Or something. I don't know how I even found that unknown monkey. Uh, I don't... I don't know. So... I'm never going back there ever again if I have my choice. Um... I don't know. And that was very, very, very frustrating. Very frustrating. And now I'm beginning to wonder how much of that I actually recorded and if I actually got answering that or not. I'm going to end on this note. Two hours and 11 minutes of trying to solve this puzzle has been ridiculous. I have a lot of editing to do to make this work. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I am sorry once again that I missed out on some of recording some of that info for you. Oh, what a nightmare. Hit that like button for me. This was a lot of time invested. A lot of time invested into solving that puzzle, and it's time to move on. I ended up figuring it out on my own without even needing the help of that thing. Without even needing the help of that clue. Did it help me in any way? I don't feel like it really did, except to realize that there was a pattern that I had to solve. And I didn't even utilize the pattern. I created my own. Well, no. I did need to know that the white monkey threw better than the other monkeys. That was the one thing I did get out of that hint. That's true. So that would be the one thing. So yes, I did use that hint to its fullest, in my opinion. That's going to do it for this one. Keep it crispy. First Tim 412. I'll see you in the next episode right here on Mist Revelation. Mist 4. What a game. Sheesh. I don't even mean that in the good way. This thing is frustrating. <sighs> All right. We'll be back with more in the next one. See ya.